Hey everybody, yesterday my Megascans studio subscription for the month expired. I didn't have enough money to continue it, but I did download many textures that I am still able to use. I just created this awesome uh, desert-like material really quickly, and it is ready to use in Unreal Engine 4. Let's create a brand new asset. Uh, lava rock okay 2048 metalness creating okay brand new scene let's go to our layers and pick a lava rock that I've got and that is loading in all sorts of textures that we can use ooh that's nice and fun now I can adjust the amplitude. It, it gives you bumps and then you can adjust the frequency. So it's all over the place. And then right here the clamp, the lower clamp is the bottom going up. And then the clamp going down is the top going to the bottom. Wait, let's reduce this some. Okay. And then drag this. Nice. Uh, okay, just about. That's good. Now let's add another material. Here is a nice uh, lava rock that I've got. and then we can add this to our scene adjusting the threshold um, will affect the layer underneath okay that looks pretty cool albedo let's change this I want black Gloss. Oh, that that's very lava-like. Hmm. Um. Moving around. Ooh, that's nice and red. I'm just not sure why it is red instead of black. Let's. Height intensity, height blend, amplitude. Okay, that's kind of cool. Frequency, octaves, and then clamp. Probably right about there. And then let's adjust the layer below. drastically get a different look okay that's nice sweet this looks good let's see if adjusting the color on top does anything nice bright red nope Okay, green looks interesting. Okay, really cool. But I liked the way it looked before. So let's make it black. Right. Then let's create a new layer. I want, yeah, some regular stone over it. And that will load on top of everything else. And then I think I'll adjust the octaves. Frequency. 
octaves a little bit more. Okay, then adjust the threshold. Okay, that looks nice. Okay. I love the way that looks, but the color looks weird. So let's adjust that. Not red. Or blue. Let's try yellow. Darker yellow. Yeah, I like that. Uh, let's actually go a little more brown. A little brighter. Less intense. Right there. I like that. Cool. Okay, now what do I want to call this? Let's save as surface. I want to quickly get to this at some other time. Uh, lava, lava rock actually sounds pretty good, but I might already have it. Let's select uh, lava rock rock. Okay, good. Enter. Uh, save. Oh, it's not letting me select a, a material. Oh, that's too bad. But I can still export it to Unreal Engine 4 just fine. So, let's... Albedo, Cavity, Roughness, Normal, Displacement, AO. I probably won't use Cavity. I'm going to use Roughness, Albedo, Normal, and Displacement. Uh, probably pixel depth. Um, I'm thinking about Unreal Engine 4 right now. And yeah, I'm good. So let's Mega Scans UE4. Let's select the folder. Uh, lava, Lava Rock. Okay. Open that up and select that folder and export five maps to there. Then let's open up that folder. Lava Rock. Yes. And it's looks like it's still doing its thing. Yep, right on. One, two, five maps. And I've got five maps. So it's done. Now I can import this into Unreal Engine 4. Let's quickly take a look at each of them, or maybe just the albedo. Okay. Huh. Okay, there's our albedo map. Sweet. It looks good. Let's close that. I'm not sure why it's saying a trial version of Photoshop. I've had Photoshop for years. Yes. Okay. Let's open up Unreal Engine 4. Epic Games. I just want to load this in the engine just to show everybody that works. Launch 4.15.1. Awesome. Unreal Engine uh, is updated constantly and I'm excited to use the latest version. Yeah, so 85%, 87, 90. Okay, new project. Let's create a brand new project. First person, and let's call this Lava Rock. Okay, creating new project. I just want to import our new textures into the engine because it looks really cool. Sweet. If anybody likes these videos, please subscribe, like this video, and stay tuned for more because I'm constantly making new videos and they get better and better every time I make them. 96%. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. This is our scene. So let's import. Go up to. Uh, hmm. No. Uh, uh, Mega scans. UE4. Lava rock. Lava rock. And then import all of these. Okay. Importing. Nice. Okay. Now, new material. Lava rock. Good. Open that up. And then just drag and drop albedo where it needs to go. Right there. Plug in, then ambient occlusion. That's going to go right here. Let's make this screen a little bit bigger. Okay, ambient occlusion, then displacement. Probably, I'm going to put this back here for a little bit. Let's plug in our normal map real quick. Okay. Then Lava Rock Roughness, right on. And I think that uh, the displacement texture that we loaded might work right there. But if it doesn't, then we can just uh, take it off. OK, good. Those are our five textures that we just loaded. And let's save that material, close this, and load this, place it on the ground. Okay, it, the engine is calculating right now. Now, the texture is really big, so what I'm going to do is open up the material again. Let's full screen this, and then hold down U, texture coordinates. You hold down U and then left click to get texture coordinates and let's make this U tiling uh, let's see let's try three on both U and V okay now I want to plug this into my different texture maps or materials just so they all look the same right on Okay, we're good. Now, apply, save, and then close. Nice. Now let's play the game and see what it looks like up close. Uh, it's still a little big. Let's open it up one more time and uh, adjust the texture sizes. So let's double that to six and then applying changes to original file save now close okay let's build just cuz that looks like the same texture size exporting building lighting pretty cool building lighting Now, um, probably, yeah, I'll let it wait. It, there shouldn't be too much for it to think about. And just because I've got several other big programs open doesn't mean that this will take forever. But look at this texture that we created. It's so cool, and I'm going to be able to use this for every Unreal Engine 4 project that I have. And I'm excited to see what different things I can make with all the exciting tools that I have available to me. Almost done. 72%. 81. Make it happen. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't crash. Encoding textures, so now it should update the textures. Wait, did that... 
Oh, maybe it. Okay, I'm. I was. I was really close to the ground, so it didn't look like it updated. But it looks like it did, and that looks pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna do it one more time, and let's set this to probably 10, just to make sure I see a difference. Apply applying changes to original material. Okay, now it's gonna look different. Pretty cool. There is our lava rock ground. I can use this in all sorts of maps and games. I'm excited. So if you like this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, everybody.